back to our channel. We hope you guys are doing great today. And today's video is going to be all about our camera gear. We get a lot of questions about what we use to film our videos, not only from people online, but also when we meet people in person, they want to know what we use and how we do YouTube, I guess. Today's video is going to be more of an informative video, show you guys what we do and how we do it. So to get started, the main camera we use is the Canon EOS 80D. We found this camera to be the best quality for relatively inexpensive, mm -hmm. and we use the 10 to 22 millimeter lens for easy zooming in and out. It's really great. You can do autofocus, manual focus, and you can really get some cool shots with the, the lens and the camera. Yeah. Well, what we, what I really, because I did the research on this camera, and what I really liked about it was the autofocus function, and I think that's really good, especially for when you're doing vlogs, which is like a video log. You probably know what that is. Um, but just to explain for the people that are like, oh, what is a vlog? But it is great for autofocusing. So when you're filming yourself and you're talking, it focuses right yeah. away. And so the focusing um, processor and the camera is high quality and very good. So that's like one of the main reasons I love this camera so much. And it's a great overall camera for video and pictures. So the secondary camera is the Sony A5100. And this is one that Nikki likes because you could flip the screen up and you could kind of see what you're, you're looking at. But you, know, you kind of have to be careful with that so you don't look at the screen when you're filming, you look at the lens. But it's just a good, mm -hmm. good camera, it's high quality, but you know, we've had some issues with the, as you can see, with the black dots, uh, it gets dirty inside. Yeah, but we've, I've had it for a while, I've had it for two years now. I first started yeah. with the, same, the older version and I liked it so much, but the other one didn't have the flip up screen. So when this one came out, my other one was getting a little old and outdated, so I decided to go with this one. And this one I take everywhere just because it's so small. You guys can see it's like very compact, easy to handle. It's not so big like the Canon ADD. So this is my main go-to camera, even though it's not as good quality as the ADD. It's just so compact. Just a disclaimer: this stuff might be outdated. It's just the stuff that we use. We've kind of accumulated this stuff. These cameras and computers and stuff over the years. It's not like we just went out and bought it all mm -hmm. right away. So this might not be the best camera now. I mean, there might be the 50, uh, 500, I don't know. But yeah, this so is nice. something that works well for us and it's pretty durable and we've had it for a while. Same with the e ADD. Mm -hmm. It works well. We like it. It's not, you know, a Mark III crazy expensive, but it seems to do the job. But we well. do. We, and when you're into filming and stuff, you always are going to upgrade. You're always going to get new stuff. There's always things that are going to come out. So you accumulate like I still have my 60D that I started out with that was awesome at the time but it started getting a little outdated and so that's when you decide hey I want this new camera so the more you get into it the more you get a feel for what you do and what you use and what you don't use and we've definitely like weeded out some things so the next camera is our Hero 4 GoPro and this one we haven't used that much but we will just because water shots and stuff like that, you want a waterproof camera. And these are great. I mean, if you just take the raw footage and go and put in an editing program, it's not the best footage, but through the editing software, you can make it really yeah. nice. So that's the GoPro. I think it's a silver edition. Is We've it? had this for a while. So if you saw our introduction video that has part of the engagement, uh, everything was shot on this camera, the whole entire... Yeah, and we didn't even go in and edit like color correct. We didn't know about that yeah. at the time, so it could have been a lot better, but that's what's great about what we'll get in further into the video is that editing programs are great and you can do a lot with them. And what we use with that camera is we use this like little baton thing that looks like a whacking baton, but it folds up. I mean, they make newer ones. This is pretty old. But um, what I don't like about it, I would, sorry, <laughs> what I don't like about it is that it like doesn't fold all the way, it kind of goes like this. They do make new ones yeah. that fold right in. See this, it's stupid, like why would you do that? So it's hard to carry around. One, one question we get all the time is, what the heck are, are these things that you have on your camera and why do you have this? It's like little You know, we walk around everywhere and people are like, you know, that's kind of strange. Why do you have these uh, little legs in your camera? And what it is, is I think it's called a gorilla pod, right? Yeah. You have them on both joking. cameras. And they're really, they're neat because they can hold, you can wrap them around railings or certain things. Or it's like a little tripod and it, it works very well for uh, for filming. Mm -hmm. And we found them to be really useful. Yeah, and then you bend them, so you bend them like the way you want, and then see it's like, like a hand tripod. Like a hand tripod. So we have two of those. We have the smaller one, and then we have the large one for our Canon 
ADD. But we love them so much, we got a little mini one for the baby camera. Yes. It's awesome. Moving on. So that is it for the actual camera. So moving on to the accessories that we use to make it all possible. We have extra SD cards that we use because you, when you're out and about, you run out of time on your camera, on your SD yeah. card. Learned that SD cards are all different. You have to have certain ones, you know, they have like the Extreme Plus or the Ultra or whatever, but you have to have certain SD cards for certain cameras. So if you're gonna buy a camera, and you're gonna get extra SD cards, make sure you do your research and make sure that you get the proper yeah. SD card because the one for the Canon ADD is different than the one from the, the Sony, so it's all... Well, I mean, you could do the same one, but you wanna do the higher one because um, on the ADD, it will come out grainy if you have a wrong um, SD card. It'll stop on you sometimes. Yeah. So you want to make sure you do research and that was something that we learned from trial and error. The next, which I am obsessed with, I mean, I think these are so great to have, especially when you are out and about and you're not going to be back and you maybe run out of battery or something. Um, I bought these and I actually got them at Best Buy. You can get them at like, basically anywhere, but I got them at Nordstrom's Rack because they're half the price. Um, if you can find them, it's but so that's why I got so many of them. But I have two of these pocket juice. They're chargers, so you it has the little the USB that you can plug into, and they give you a lot of charges. So I think with our phones we could do five charges on them. Obviously the camera would be a little bit more, but these are great to have. Next is something that, that we have found probably one of the most, if not well, other than the camera, one of the most important things is hard drives. We have three hard drives, one of them's two terabytes, the other are one terabyte each. And it's just an easy way for us to edit our film and stuff, so what we can do is we can take it from the camera, the footage from the camera, straight to the hard drive. So it's not constantly blocking our computer up and making yep. it harder to yep. edit. And it helps to stay organized. That's yep. one of the biggest things we've learned with filming and editing. You have to be organized. If you are not organized, it gets so messy, and then when you go into editing, Everything's a jumble and it's it's a headache. So that's one thing that we've really learned from again yeah. trial and error. We learn to be organized. For editing, we use a MacBook Pro that uh, is pretty modified. It's a couple years old, but it works very well for us. Mm -hmm. And like we said, we plug the, the the hard drives into it. We edit everything off the hard drive, and then the software that we use is Final Cut Pro. We were using iMovie for the first couple of movies, and iMovie works great. It's you know it's actually a lot more simple to use. It's just Final Cut, you can you can do a little bit more color correction and things like that, yeah. which is what we started to get into. But, I mean, you could use either program, we just happen to use Final Cut. Yeah, so that's it. Do you guys have any other questions about the filming or the gear or anything like that? Comment below and we'll answer them to the best of our ability. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. And next video will be an action video. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. See you out. <laughs>